Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. It's just so predictable, isn't it? I mean, if you asked me, say, what, two years ago, are people led and influenced by the media? I would say, yeah, of course they are. But I never thought so many people could be so completely and utterly controlled by the most obvious, faked, staged psyops and also be fed so much fairy tale crap from the media and continue to swallow this nonsense and just follow the yellow brick road all the way to the Emerald City. I mean, it's literally psyop after psyop, you know? And then you've got the controlled opposition plants feeding those who are questioning stuff and they're feeding them tall tales, all kinds of crazy stuff to keep them confused, spinning, spinning them back and forth like a pinball in a pinball machine. You know? <sighs> anyway, here we see Finland. And this, oh, what a surprise. This is their answer to airport delays. You know, you remember all those airport queues and delays that suddenly started happening all over the world at the same time. And all of these airports and all reported in the, in the media it only seemed to happen at weekends, though. You know, if you traveled on a weekday, you didn't seem to have a problem. Only at weekends, yeah? Finland has the solution. Can anybody guess what the solution is? Oh, look, it's a digital passport. Oh, wow. You don't say. And of course, look, the default photo of a Muppet in a mask. Got to have photos of someone in a mask. Got to keep that conditioning of the people going, haven't we? Oh, yes, of course you have. It says here, Finland could become the first country in the EU to trial a mobile app with digital copies of travel documents. The country has expressed its eagerness, or oh, I bet it's so eager, to test out a phone app that would hold digital copies of travel documents instead of a traditional paper passport. With this new technology, passengers could send information to border authorities before they go abroad. Oh, looky here, here we go. Just as we imagined, it says here, could digital passports be the answer to airport delays, it says? Hmm. For now, passengers involved in the trial will still have to carry their physical paper passports and undergo checks by border agents. But in the long run, the aim is for people to not have to carry any documentation at all aside from their phones, their smartphones. Travellers could simply be identified using a photo of their face when they are boarding a plane or passing a security check. It is hoped, that's your, that's your facial recognition, it is hoped that these digital travel documents, digital passports, digital ID, will make passing through a border much smoother and faster. Reducing the time of each individual check by even a small amount could cut down waiting times for passengers. So, you know, some people, they were asking there a few months back or a couple of months back, why? Why have all these delays and massive queues appeared all of a sudden at the airports and in all of these countries? Is it to put people off traveling? Well, yeah, yeah, to a certain degree. But all of those delays and those reports and that media propaganda was also so they could say, oh, look, you need to get a digital passport and that will end these long queues. Next, they will have... What? Two different queues, probably. A fast one for digital passports and then a very slow one for normal passports. All to coerce people into the digital trap. The only other country that sort of has a digital passport is, wait for it, it's Ukraine. That's the place that is supposedly in the middle of a war, while its leader is doing photo shoots for Vogue, opening bloody Glastonbury, doing speeches at the Grammys, appearing as a freaking hologram, and welcoming movie stars and pop stars every other weekend and giving them a sightseeing tour. Yeah, that Ukraine. Ukraine gave the same legal status to digital passports as physical ones, it says here. Ukrainians have been able to use their digital passports in a range of situations such as confirming their ID identity. That's a digital ID, isn't it? At the post office, confirming their age or opening a bank account. That's going to link it to all of your money for a few years. But also, last year they were also recognised when travelling into the country by plane or train. And what does that tell you exactly? Well, it tells you that the smartphone's going to be the hub of your digital ID, the passport, your money, your access to your bank, your access to your government, 
all kinds of things, everything will be linked to your smartphone, yeah? This smartphone, the smartphone I've been telling everybody should get shot off. And then what's the next step? Well, it will be, you know, you know that smartphone you've got, you know, the one with your passport and your access to your bank account and your ID on it and your driver's license and your insurance. It's all stored in your phone. You don't have any kind of physical uh, documents anymore. Your smartphone, oh, it's very, very important, isn't it? I mean, what would happen if you lost it or something happened to your phone or it got damaged? Oh no, that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? So we must find a way of making this safer. Maybe we can get this information tattooed onto a person, yeah? You know, or something like that. It's just, it's just so flipping predictable for me now. You know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Get rid of your phone. If your phone was toxic, right? And it was emitting dangerous fumes, right? You would get rid of it fast enough, wouldn't you? Because that is effectively what is happening here. The smartphone is their gateway into enslaving you. It's not the final solution of doing it, but it's their first, it's the, the most obvious immediate step of getting their foot in the front door. And all the time, they're making it more difficult for you to get rid of the phone by making you use it to access your online banking, etc., etc. I mean, obviously, this is a big ask, but if some people, you know, if some of these big YouTubers and these people out there who pretend to be on your side with millions of subscribers started saying, you know, get rid of your phone, get shot of it, started saying this, maybe people would pay attention. Maybe it might catch on. Maybe it might make people start to think. I mean, is there anyone who says this? Or am I the only one? Any of these big talking heads with the millions of subscribers ever talk about that? Do they ever mention maybe ditching, get rid of your smartphone? Or even saying, don't download these apps. Stop using the phone. Any controlled opposition movements starting up? A ditch your phone movement? No, I haven't heard of any. Anyone saying this at all? I bet there aren't many, if there is any at all. And why? Because, why isn't there anyone saying this apart from me? Because that is the last thing they would want people to do. Because people with smartphones, using smartphones, is completely crucial for them implementing this very important first stage of their plans as can be seen in this story from Finland, yeah? Look, share this video if you think it will help somebody somewhere. If you think this advice is of any use, okay? As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to HugoTalks.com and I'll see you later.